you want to, have to even, stay up to date on the latest creative software, fonts, typography trends, stock photos, videos, forums, blogs, and general graphic communication news. Yet, where do you start? Designers, publishers, printers, information overload got you down? It had me down for a while, too, and that's why we started GraphicStart.com. Hi, my name is David, and I will show you some of the cool and very useful features of GraphicStart.com, a news and RSS aggregator site that helps you, well, simply get control of all the information that is needed to you on a daily, weekly, or even hourly basis. Let's start over here on the left side. We'll see a sort of link bar with all different links to all the various feeds that we have hosted on our database. These are all divided, of course, into submenus. On the right side, we see we can join a newsletter, look at the feed of the month, check out the most read items, or best rated items. In the center, we see the featured items, followed below by the last 10 items, and just below that, the just read by the visitors items. Naturally, featured items gets the most attention and most clicks, as these are items that I have personally picked and featured. All of the articles on GraphicStart.com are fed by more than 700 of these hand-picked feeds, blogs, websites, etc., that are truly all about the graphic arts industry, design, print, publishing. As you can see, there is a link here to an overview of all of these feeds. On this page, you see all the feeds that have been hand-picked or chosen, and they all specialize in design, print, and publishing news in one way, shape, form, or another. Okay, fantastic. Now let's sign up for a free account so I can show you some of the other really powerful features that you'll get with membership. Signing up is, of course, really quick and easy. Just click on Create Account. You will see a simple form that asks you for a desired username, password, etc. And you'll have to confirm uh, your account once it's been created, of course. Then you'll be forwarded to your profile page. Here you can choose to change your password or write some personal information such as name, address, and website. I'd recommend the website for others will be able to see that and click through to it later. There is also an option to include yourself in the weekly mailing list. To submit changes, you can click Submit Changes. It's that simple, of course. Okay, great. Now up top, you'll see some of the new features and some of the most powerful ones uh, that membership provide. These are such as my bookmarks, my profile, that's the page you're on now, language settings, my personal feed, and the all-powerful watch list. Above these options, you'll see the three big buttons, Home, Submit Articles, and My Portal. This allows for easy navigation. First, let's submit an article. As you can see here, you can select the language of the article. After that, you can choose a title and start writing your article, or copy and paste a press release, or just give an opinion. Below, you can add a link to the original article or to your website or blog. Of course, the article will need to be approved before it's released. And after that's done, the articles will show up on the left-hand side, um, you know, down below there, uh, where you can navigate to all the most recent articles. Okay, now we're going back to the My Portal section. And now let's check out the all-powerful feature called Watch List. This is a very interesting feature here, where you can actually add a keyword or search term and use it to find and keep track of articles or blogs, etc., that are using that keyword any time during the day. For example, if I click here on the link, I can choose Sites, and I'll choose Graphic Start for now, and add a search term. I will use, as this example, InDesign. I will then click Add. Now, every time there is a new article or item that contains this keyword, InDesign, it will notify me by email. Or if I log into the account, I can see it under my portal. There's also an associated RSS feed. What's great about this compared to, say, Google is it's searching only the Graphic Start database, so I'm only getting items that pertain to graphic arts communication. Very, very useful. Okay, let's go back home, so to speak, and here we'll see the home page with the featured items, and let's click on one of them. We can now read the article, and on the bottom there are four links, which I'll briefly explain. Link to the original article. Well, this links directly to the source article. Tip a friend. Here you can notify a friend about this article via email. Post a comment. Well, I don't think that needs any further discussion. And bookmark this item. 
that's a nice one because you can bookmark the item and it will show up under your uh, under the my portal section so you can go back and review that item later anytime just to show you if we go back into my portal and click on my bookmarks we'll see the article is added to my bookmark section thank you very much for the time this completes our tutorial or general introduction to graphic start there is of course a lot more and we have a lot more planned so please feel free to give us feedback and suggestions to info at graphicstart.com. If you would like your feed added, also email that to info at graphicstart.com. Thank you very much. We hope you find this site as useful as we do. Have a great day. Graphicstart.com the ultimate site for design, print, and publishing news.